Welcome back to Weekend Now. I'm Bob Stokes. This developing strong winter storm, President's Day winter storm, has put the network, the Weather Channel, on alert mode. And here's the reason why. Significant snows lie ahead for Washington, D.C., for New York, Philadelphia. You can see 10 to 15 inches in New York, really beginning in earnest tonight, going into tomorrow. One to two feet for Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, likewise, Boston. You can see six-plus inches of snowfall. Now, with an update on what's going on now, here's Stormwatch with Melissa. And we take you first to Washington, D.C. You're looking at the White House. Visibility is currently at a half mile. Temperature's 16 degrees, and there's a minimum of seven inches on the ground. Here's a look at the major storm system. Not only is it affecting you in D.C. and Baltimore, where you're under winter storm warnings, but the snow extends back into Ohio, Indiana, and southern Illinois. Now, the southern extent of our storm system has produced severe weather across portions of Florida through the morning. Right now, though, thunderstorm, a heavy thunderstorm being reported in Valdosta. Paul Kosin and Paul, can you give us the very latest? Yeah, I've looking at some new, looked at some new information, and it still looks like it's just going to be a very slow moving, not an incredibly intense storm, but it's so slow moving that some of these snowfall totals are going to be literally astronomical unless some sleep mixes in with it. Just taking a look at the uh, radar imagery tells the whole picture here. We've got superimposed on the 32 degree line here. Just notice right here with this tremendous area of moisture that's headed right for that area below freezing that hasn't experienced much precip. So northern North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, southern Virginia, you're going to be in ab abysmal shape today. But look at the large comma-shaped cloud, classic for this storm, very slow moving. We'll see the re low redevelop along the uh, Carolina coastline, move slowly up the coast. Not a very deep storm, gale force winds along the immediate coast. Only 10 to 20 mile an hour winds inland, but temperatures in the snow area only in the single numbers to teens. And that's going to result in these incredible snowfall amounts. This isn't even the storm total snowfall. This is just through Monday afternoon. The snow will be ending in Washington sometime Monday morning to Monday afternoon, and it will be snowing all day in New York and in Boston. Actually, the storm won't even get out of the picture totally until during the day on Tuesday. Somewhere in that area, generally between northern Virginia, southeastern Pennsylvania, we will see two feet of snow locally up to 30 inches at a couple of locations. So just a tremendous storm here. And Paul, what time is the snow going to start falling and become heaviest around New York City and Boston? Okay, New York City, your snow will start later this afternoon and this evening, but the real heavy snow doesn't get until basically after midnight. Boston, your snow comes in tomorrow morning, heaviest during the day, at least six inches for you. That'll go through the night. All right, thanks a lot, winter weather expert Paul Kosin. Well, when it hits, it hits hard. Mm -hmm. Now, we've saved the best for last this morning, the best weather rescues of the week, that is. Jennifer Lopez begins with the heartwarming rescue of a freezing horse. Walking on thin ice doesn't work when you're a horse. This one is near hypothermia after being in a frozen New Jersey pond for two hours. It takes a tow truck and a backhoe to get them out, a heat to warm them up, and a grateful owner gives thanks. I've lost a child, and that's probably the most tragic thing in the world, but next boy. The trooper in the car gets away with cuts and bruises. The driver is unhurt, but busted. And our final video finds two Long Beach men who take a diversion into a flood-filled road. The water's not moving, so these guys get to walk their way to safety under fire department supervision. For the Weather Channel, I'm Jennifer Lopez. Biting cold, and in addition to that colder air sliding further and further southward, it's being met by warm, very moist, overrunning air. And of course, that has been a big problem for the Piedmont area of North Carolina, where ice is collecting on many of the roadways, especially Interstate 40 and some of the connecting roads. This red line that you see is an isotherm that measures the temperatures that are equal to 32 degrees right in that vicinity. Notice how that cuts across Kentucky, West Virginia, and the Piedmont. That's right along the area where the freezing rain continues to accumulate. And accumulation on bridges and overpasses is one thing, but when we talk about long stretches of the roads, yeah, we've got a lot of accidents that have been occurring in these general areas. Now, as we go through the day today, it's been a very long day in Washington, D.C. with heavy snow falling. That's what you can anticipate for some miles across. Watch the most intense weather images ever caught on camera. And the rescue you have to see to believe. Watch a new series from the Weather Channel. Storm Stories, Mondays at 8 Eastern and Pacific.